Ya Rabbi, with that intent just give us Tulul Um to celebrate Jashn Milad al Nabi in a grand and beautific way, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Keep us on this earth for the love and the sake of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and to propagate, Ya Rabbi, if we have a benefit of spreading that love and tahzim al Nabi then Ya Rabbi, grant us a life in which to see the great day of Milad al Nabi inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri surat al-Fatiha Sharabiniyat al-Khatmi Khawjigan Always a reminder for myself, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan al-Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem That when Allah orders us into our homes there's an immense rahmah and uh, wisdom and for the people for the last year of interactive tafakkur, interactive meditation, all that was a, a way in which to propagate a solution for a difficulty that was coming. That Ya Musabibul Asbab, that when Allah is going to bring about a cause there in the Mufata Abwaab, there's a door that will be opening. That for every cause Allah begin to initiate, there's a door in which to enter into Allah's rahmah and mercy. That for over one year continuously pushing, pushing tafakkur, contemplation, tafakkur, contemplation and you don't know but one day Allah orders all of creation to isolate, enter into your homes and your khalwa and your seclusion. And by entering into that seclusion we have been given the tools in which to meditate, contemplate, recalibrate, figure what our purpose, our purpose in life is, what have I been sent here for, what was the purpose and the message that my soul wants to deliver to my body. All the dress and all the realities of this way are being bestowed upon the soul and the soul wants to give small gifts to the body but doesn't trust the body. Everything that we've been trained for is for this day. Connect your heart, dress yourself from that reality. This light of love and faith within the heart to make it to blossom and to nourish and to bring out its realities. And then people become instead of understanding the wisdom of what Allah wants to do they're trying to figure out, oh I wish I was there, I wish I could be there, I wish that I was uh, sitting there. But if Allah didn't want you to be sitting there, the importance is sit where you are, more power is coming to you. If you are capable of understanding the hikmah of what Allah wanted, He didn't want you surrounded by sound and noise and distractions. But sit into a room and when the zikr comes and the sound is coming to you, go into your training, connect your heart. Let Allah in seclusion dress you and bless you in a way that you can never be dressed in public. Because in public the zikr changes depending upon who's in the room. If new people enter into this room the zikr has a different energy because they can't send an energy out that would knock somebody out. But when Allah said, no, no, let the, those gentlemen who they can be in that and understand that, they'll sit and produce the energies and we will begin to distribute them. And when you're in your home and you're isolated, instead of using your mind to think of where you want it to be, focus on where you should be. And that's the, that's the big danger in every spiritual action, Allah's the best of man. Most amazing planner, years, thousands of years in advance Allah has planned but we'll only talk about the few months that plans for us to learn this way, understand this way, go into your home. Don't let your mind to overtake and say, no, no I wish I was there, I gotta go there, I wanna be there. No, sit where you are, Allah want to dress you in a khalwa. Dress you, bless you, send you a light so that you can feel emotions and you can yell and scream and cry and nobody looking at you. The concept of the khalwa is that you are alone with your Lord. 
You know, you can go through all the stages of your emotion and you don't have to do it for a show for people. You do it by yourself and your, your room, your closet, wherever you are isolating. And that was the hikmah and the wisdom and Allah were going to make an immense energy begin to emit from this Rajab Shabban all the way until Ramadan there should be immense energies that when an energy is coming and cracking dunya then pious people must be able to take that sifat al qahar and bring it into their zikr and they ought to be crack all my bad character. With this tajallis that you're bringing down, your azimat is coming down, your azimat crushes all other than your muhabbat and love. They bring the energy of this azimat and begin to move it on to the zikrs and it begin to crush everything. We said that everything is standing and it has no permission to stand. Allah will collapse everything standing so it become qashiyah and down. When the kingdom of my Lord is coming down, is coming down. Oh when the saints, oh when the saints come marching in, they have their song. Judgment of my Lord is coming down, coming down. All of these western hymns they know this. This tajalli when it begin to come down it begin to crush everything but this is izzatullah. The zikr harnesses this izza and begin to dissipate or distribute that amongst the souls so that that energy can come to destroy the, the kufr within people, the bad character within people, the qadab within people. That energy is to destroy everything other than the beatific light of the soul that Allah wants that to be standing. He says, not that body, put that body down, put your head down, put everything of your body down, I want your soul to be upright. And this now we see this tajalli, it's coming down upon the earth. So then these zikrs and associations, tafakkurs inshaAllah should be very powerful. If people can stop thinking it through their head where they want to be, where they could have been but where they are and what Allah wants from you right now inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.